Continuity, depending on different hairstyles, is really difficult. Mm. Because, as I said, when I did the pink, when I had my, like, this massive thick curls, they curled my hair with a curling iron, um, they thought just by putting, like, um, soft clips in would keep it back. Like, say, I'm doing a take and all my curls are out because I didn't have it, I didn't have it back in a hairband, it was just in a loose fitting band at the top. If they just put a pin in it, it would stay because it would fall. And that's not my problem. Like, obviously, it's, I mean, I didn't touch it, it just falls. It, it comes out of the, of the curls because that's just what Afro hair does. It comes out, it doesn't stay. So that was a bit of a nightmare. Mm, I can imagine. Um, for me, it was, because um, our hair is changing. Like, do you have it every morning you wake up? Is yeah. your hair like, quite different? It depends what I've done the night before, because I've, yeah, I kind of comb my, I cut, sometimes if I've had like it up all day and I haven't taken it down at all, then I'll comb it like twice before I go to bed and then when I wake up it will be the, like almost back to normal. Okay, that's so good. it depends. Yeah, yeah, my hair's a bit different, I would need to braid it, but I'd, nothing um, complicated, I would just do two yeah. braids. Um, it's like an extra responsibility of like that hair maintenance yeah. because our hair is that little bit more changeable, you know? It's just yeah. a little bit more of its own life, hasn't it? Yeah. Like it got to a point, I got really upset and I was like, is it just that black women aren't meant to do films? <laughs> like are we like not meant to make films? Like our hair's <laughs> precluding us from this industry in a way. Mm -hmm. Does that sound really silly? Does a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Considering how much people have done work wise. <laughs> But have they had their own hair? You know? A lot of the time it's wigs, to be honest. Well, that's it. Because it's easier just... To, I mean, I've never wore a wig before. Not, no, not properly. Either. Like Halloween and stuff. But I mean, like, properly. I just think it's probably easier just to whack it up or to straighten it and just put it in like a star where it would just stay. Whereas to actually step over the boundary and do something else because every time I do TV work and stuff they're always like oh I'd love to do something different to your hair and it's no point right no and well they say I'd love to do something different to your hair but yet again it's still back to how I normally have it so like I think they should just be taking a risk because then okay. that's how not do you know what also they always obsess over little bits of hair, but that's what would happen normally. Yeah. Like in real life, yeah. unless it's for something like that your, ha your hair had to be perfect. If you're just yeah. walking down the street, I'm saying, not I'm saying if half your hair's out, but I mean like if a little bit's out there. That's normal. And they take it out, that's normal. So that's maybe what upper hair it's, like, it's like a stylistic thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Like I have to say for a very, very long time, I did think that in order to get uh, roles, I need to have weave and I need to have straight hair, I need to look as European, if that's possible, I need to look as European as, as possible. Um, and that was just ridiculous because with when I wear my um, natural hair or my braids or whatever, that's when I get more roles. I went to a casting director workshop and they said to me, um, I just mentioned about my hair and other things, when, you know, I said, oh, when I go to an audition, I think about this. And they said to me, oh, oh um, that's baggage. That's baggage. If you're going in that casting room and before you go in, you're thinking about this and you're thinking about that, you're in the wrong place. And you, I need to be in the second circle. I'm going in in the wrong frame of mind and there's these different circles you should be in. There's the first circle and I would be going in in the first circle because I'm so aware of myself and what I'm doing as opposed to just being in the second circle and being there in the now. And I didn't book many jobs then. I book a lot more jobs now because I feel more comfortable with my hair and with who I am and uh, my identity. Because I'm from a small town, I feel like, um, and I, where I grew up, I knew no other black people apart from my family. I do feel like, I had some like an image to live up to in terms of my hair. I did feel the need to just stand out. I did, I really did. I knew I stood out anyway, but I felt like um, I needed to stand out even more. I, mean, I did end up flattening my hair and having weave, but if I'm honest, I think for me that was more because I looked up to people like um, Left Eye. <laughs> And other black people, like women in the um, in the arts that 
had straight hair. One person that I did love and I still love to this day, and if I was a lesbian, I would marry, but not, not for sexual reasons, so just because I think she's amazing. Lauren Hill is beautiful, a beautiful person. And one thing that I love about her is that she's always had her natural hair. And I feel like if you can have your, be a performer and just be happy for being who you are, that's amazing. I really do think that's amazing. I'll call this part my truth. <laughs>